Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fabric stash video for you. I've been collecting some fabrics over December and January that I have yet to show you guys. So I'm very excited. I have a big stack of fabrics here. Lots of lovely pieces to show you and I'll tell you what makes I'm planning on making with them as well. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and we'll get straight on into it. So I might start with the chunkier ones because it's quite hard to hold. There's <laughs> actually not that many fabrics, they're just big. <laughs> I promise. I'm not like, yeah. I don't think I'm being bad, but anyway, I hadn't shown you a fabric stash video since the summer. I was like thinking, when was the last time I filmed a stash video? And I think it was like way back in June or July. So yeah, here we are with some newbies. I have some really nice makes that I've got planned and obviously I'll vlog them for you guys as well. So the first one I want to show you is this gorgeous coating fabric from Sew Me Sunshine. It's a teddy bear sort of fabric. Now I will unfold it so you can kind of see that's it's quite um although it's a coating it's lightweight enough it's got this kind of like backing on it which is quite soft um you probably would have to line it just to make it look a bit more you know expensive but yeah it's like a nice sort of drape perfect for a coat I'm actually planning on making a Ilford jacket from Friday Pattern Company this is the pattern let me show you a little close up if you haven't seen it before it's a boxy jacket with a kind of uh, simple sleeve that you sew in when it's flat um, from what I've seen. I haven't sewn it before but I've started watching YouTube videos and reading blogs about it because I've only made one jacket before so yeah um, I'm fully like going into the deep end this year with my makes and really like stepping up a notch or trying to anyway. I'm hoping to make a hip length version with some pockets kind of similar to this but with longer sleeves so I'm hoping it will look really cool in this fabric I'm gonna get some big chunky buttons for it and yeah or maybe some wooden buttons would look quite nice against the the blush pink and I have got some lining on the way I ordered some lining from Minerva but it hasn't arrived yet or I might use this rust coloured jersey if I have enough left because I have a make planned for this, I'll show you in a second. So those two colours together I just think are so dreamy. So I might try and line it with a jersey or I'm just going to wait for the lining that I've ordered from Minerva and just kind of choose depending on that but obviously I'll vlog the process of the Ilford jacket because there's a couple of blogs I found on Google to show you how to line it but I've not seen a video on how to do that so uh, wish me luck. I'm not going to say I will be perfect at it, but I, I will obviously show you as a novice getting through the lining process. Um, so yeah, that is fabric number one. Blah, blah, blah. Why is it when you wear lip gloss you always get stuff sticking to it? Um, the next fabric, which I thought I might as well just show you as I've already shown you, <laughs> talk about it, is this really gorgeous rust coloured jersey fabric. This is also from Sew Me Sunshine and she kindly gifted me this. Um, I ordered a couple of things and she threw this in which was really nice. So yeah, it's really, really soft. I literally cannot express how soft this is. It's lovely. Um, in terms of its weight, I would say it's probably quite a lightweight jersey. I'll try and show you it. There you go, you can kind of see. It's got such a lovely drape to it. The stretch is nice. Um, but it's got like a good bounce back kind of thing. Perfect for like t-shirts and stuff. But I'm planning on making the Adrian top from Friday Pattern Company. There's going to be a lot of Friday Pattern Company makes within this sewing stash haul. So prepare for all of those uh, vlogs to come. So yeah, this is going to be an Adrian top, which I'm so excited about. Any of the fabrics that I've mentioned that are still in stock, I will leave them in the description box below for you so you can go and get them for yourselves. Fabric number three. Woo, we've got another puffy number here. So this is a another coating type fabric that I saw in Minerva in the sale. It was like £3.99 or £3 a metre, which is unbelievable. And I thought I would pick this up to do a kind of casual but fun and bright colourful jacket. Um, I thought I would go from a toil into like a calico and just test the sizing of either the Ilford or the Heather jacket from Friday and then make a puffer version in this bright pink uh, fabric. I thought it was really really cool and it's got this kind of like wadding 
fabric on the back so you would again need to line it so yeah or like a, a print you could open it up and have like a print inside which would be quite cool i'm really excited i know it's crazy and it's very very bright but it'll be a fun like rainy day little jacket to throw on sticking with the jacket fabrics because i'm really pushing myself to do jackets apparently. I've just been looking on Pinterest every day and like finding lots of inspiration for jackets, especially as Friday Pattern Company released their new uh, pattern, which is the Heather Blazer. And it's so cool. And Chelsea made, oh, pop up the image, oh, so jealous. She made a red and pink version and it's like a coat blazer, like oversized coat and it's just so cool. So I kind of want to copy her a little. And I brought this fabric from Minerva Crafts and it's, so freaking cool i just love it it's giving me kind of clueless vibes with the, that check um but i'll open it out and show you so it's quite lightweight for a coat which i really really like i feel like this is going to be super easy to work with the pattern matching however i'm a little bit worried about because i'm just a little bit slapdash when it comes to things like that but yeah it's a really gorgeous weight it's kind of light to medium weight for a coating um and it's got a lovely drape as you can see i think it's going to be a a dream to work with. I think this is the Lady McElroy fabric and I, I want to say it's around £11 a metre, maybe 12 a metre, which for a coating is still very, very good. I will leave it in the description box and if I am wrong in the price, I'll obviously leave it at the bottom of the screen so it's, so it's a bit better, but yeah. Um, so I love that. Hello, you right? Yeah, sorry, I'm just in the middle of filming a video. Are you okay? Oh, sorry. Got sidetracked because my sister gave me a call. Anyway, this one as well. So I got it to go with this as the collar, so I want to do contrasting collar and pockets with this fabric. I'm basically copying what Chelsea did. And it's just a, a wool coating fabric. Looks like this, quite thick. I can't remember how much this was either. I think this was eight pounds a meter, but I got, I think I only got one meter. More fabric from Sew Me Sunshine. This is one of the ones, that, uh, one of the orders that I ordered. I love the velvet trend and I know what I'm like. I'll probably make this when it's not on trend anymore <laughs> because it's just taking me forever to do anything. But I thought this would make a really amazing blazer and then, so like the Heather blazer, but then have it with a tie way. So it's like, um, kind of like a robe style. I'm seeing a lot of them on like, on trend at the moment. Um, no idea how it would be to sew a kind of blazer style jacket in velvet it would probably be the worst thing in the world um in terms of like how tricky it will be to sew but it's such a beautiful navy it's like a stretch velvet as well so again not entirely sure on what needles i'd use or how it to come together but we're gonna experiment we're gonna see see how it goes i did think i was gonna make a wrap dress with this but i think it's quite dressy and formal and i don't know how much i'd wear it whereas a blazer you could wear it over a t-shirt and jeans and it would still look um, casual enough to like just wear it out you know um, when we're allowed out again but yeah I thought it was really cool then I also got this ribbing so I have some jersey that's already in my stash that I was hoping to make a jumper dress uh, the Tilly and the Buttons one can't remember what it's called I think it's the Lotta dress um, but I needed some ribbing so I got this from Sony Sunshine as well really nice like blush pink colour um, so yeah hopefully that's another <laughs> sewing vlog to come then last but not least, I got this beautiful William Morris print fabric from Textile Express. I love Textile Express, they choose the most amazing prints and I literally, like every day or every few days they post something on Instagram and I'm like, oh my god, I've just ordered something, like how are you posting more stuff that I like? Um, but there you go, I just absolutely love William Morris. It's been like a dream of mine to have a William Morris dress uh, since I started sewing. I just can't wait to make myself something in this. I was thinking, I don't know how, how it would go, but I th it's quite a thick fabric, like medium weight, and it hasn't got much drape, which makes me think it would make a good pinafore dress rather than a kind of like floaty dress or something. Um, and cause it's obviously quite a heavy pattern, to pattern match it would be crazy. So I think the more simple I go, the better. So I was thinking maybe a Tilly and the Buttons bobby pinafore. I don't know how that would work. Maybe I'd have to line it or interface it or something. Um, no idea, but I would think that would look so cool. Or some kind of pinafore dress, but I'm gonna have a little hunt down through what patterns I already have and just see what I think might work. But yeah, I really, really love it. And it's gonna look so cute over little white blouses and 
Um, I've got a green roll neck top as well, which would look cute underneath it as well. That is it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my recent fabric stash. I've got a lot of makes um, planned and ready to go. I better get started on some of them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you like any of the fabrics or you're thinking of getting some for yourself. I will leave everything that I mentioned in the description box if it's still available. And yeah, thank you. I hopefully will see you soon with another sewing vlog. So thanks for watching. Bye!